Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. If it, like, if it was Urshifu, you probably could do a stance change between Rabbit Strike and um and yeah. Single Strike. It would be so. It would be so fitting for Smash. Well, you know what would suck though is that like Urshifu's actual ability is hitting through shields. <laughs> so he's not going to do that. Don't worry. <laughs> you know they're gonna give him something. All right, game one here. What's your opinion on the Pikachu uh, Wii Fit matchup? Um, I think it. I think a lot of Wii Fit trainers think this is a really bad matchup for Wii Fit. It's not. It does fine, but Wii Fit does have to play it very specifically. On stage, uh, Pikachu could throw out a lot of Thunder Jolts, approach with Quick Attack, and Wii Fit's answer... <laughs> Wii Fit's answer to that would be just throwing full charge Salute the Suns because they just blow through everything Pikachu's trying to do approach. In terms of having a shield in particular, it's always something I try to figure out with this matchup. What does like what does Wii Fit do uh, like when you're up against out of shield pressure against Pikachu? So That's here's the thing. Back here. Don't worry too much about Pikachu's out of shield pressure because Pikachu will get at most maybe two hits. And by that point, you've already DI'd all the way off the stage. And Pikachu can't really do anything to Wii Fit just hanging around off the stage. He can hit her, but he can't kill her like at all. Mm -hmm. Wii Fit should be spending most of her disadvantage state off stage. If Pikachu starts a combo, just DI all the way off the stage and call it a day. Pikachu is not doing anything about this. So you kind of look at it in the same light where you would, uh, like, say if you're a heavy, you're fighting a Sheik. It's like, okay, I'm always taking this 60%. And after the 60%, then I can actually play the game. Like, for the Wii Fit, you take those couple of hits, you play off stage, and you deal with it. I mean, it, this, is, this is always, though, in this matchup. Mm. If Pikachu ever gets a hit, Wii Fit has to exit the stage immediately. A oh, quick note, I, I big agree on that. Uh, King Arc Deoxys would be awesome <laughs> to have stance changes like that. Uh, okay, but... Deoxys, get out of here. That'd be so cool, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, I love that ledge trap attack by Visceral. Like, try and force the low recovery. Unfortunately, the Thunder Joke got in the way. Good coverage, though, gonna get the up air. Oh, also, Pikachu is very weak against shielding in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Like, literally just stand near the ledge and shield, Pikachu grabs you, you just DI off the stage, DI is throw off the stage, and you just reset it. Bonus, Pikachu can't hit Weefin on the ledge, except with forward smash, which you can react to. Yeah, true, Pikachu being one of the few characters that can kind of just like hang back and not like try to contest the volleys off the ledge as much with because of Thunder Jolt. Mm-hmm. Get out right there, looking for the air dodge, and it still gets the trade anyways, because Maltrat Hilarious. decides to go and join the party. Uh, and all of a sudden, we're actually at an even game here. See, look at this. He just hops off the stage, gets the spike, almost wins the game. Yeah, that downer at that like at that range down there would have closed the game out. Uh, the one thing is you do need to be ready to tech stage fight back here, because Pikachu can hit that on Wii Fit relatively easily. Yeah, true. Yeah, being able to go off, get that pressure. Like regardless of like the multi, like the multi hits on uh, off B, it doesn't really do much against that. Like if you're not ready for that, then yeah, don't go off the stage against Pikachu. But otherwise, yeah, just get off the stage. You're not gonna get hit by Thunder. You're not gonna get hit by Down Air. We fit's just too good for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, general Keep breathing. The general fan of the way Mouse Rat like holds ledge too. Like it, it will put just enough on, but always make sure to avoid any like get up aggressive option. Oh my god. He should have just raw forward smash. Yeah, I would have loved a buffer it if option or that. anything because mousetrap has been super aggro there. Oh, nice jab. Please hold on. Oh, my God. Yeah, I get... Oh, I was like... Huh? Oh, off-screen deep breathings are hard. Because you don't know what... <gasps> I thought he was going to get headered. Oh, my... That's right. He's putting himself in harm's way a lot here. Yeah, really, really. Like, funny. after that, like very solid lead especially now with this like you're you're pretty much at kill percent uh visceral still holding on what happens here is he gonna forward smash oh my god you know what he should I'm, he should just did it that was, actually, mouse rat. that was actually pretty solid because prior to that mouse rat went for uh, a couple aerials then backed off decided to uh, back off a little bit and go for a grab and then oh my god like held he on to that for time. quite a bit yeah, he had time to do spot dodge F tilt there if he if he committed to it, and it would have killed, like 100 mm. percent. Because this character is just freaking insane. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that first stock too being. Yeah, at let's keep in mind, this was pretty even, and Visceral did SD. 
So we shall see how future games are affected by this. Yeah, Visceral definitely played very well in that game. Just getting caught at the end. Uh, and like you said, Mouse Rat definitely, uh, where we've seen like the really good defensive play out of Mouse Rat prior to that, like he decided to push the initiative a little bit at the um, last stock and almost cost him. All right, so I'm gonna just mention this real fast. When you're playing against Pikachu, one thing they like to do is like space forward smashes from the ledge, you know, to catch all of your options. Mm -hmm. Literally just keep holding the ledge when you grab ledge against Pikachu. Wait to see what he tries to do. This is especially important for Weefa, but it applies to most characters. Pikachu can't hit the ledge with scary stuff in general. I'm also right holding the ledge down very well right here. So it's just like, you know, don't. <laughs> just chill, just be patient. Yeah, I think that's like a, like a, a trait that you don't you don't see a whole lot is people's ability to hold down and like like hang out at the ledge a bit longer. Like uh, the defensive play at the ledge is like super good job reading that jump away to get to that thunder. I suppose the better way of putting it is it's surprising how which characters are thwarted by just holding ledge constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, there's a few that like pretty much them. can't do it. Like like a Donkey Kong really doesn't get anything off of hanging there. The ledge options suck, but... A lot of meta-relevant characters are actually hurt by this. Uh, Palutena can't really do anything. Peach can't do anything. Pikachu can't do anything. Joker kind of can't do anything. Yeah, outside he of like having Arsene short hop down airs, like there's really not too much that's gonna oh, happen he can there. He can down smash, but he, it's really obvious when he's gonna do it. You have to watch mm -hmm. out for Joker. Like there's a lot of characters that are just really good. <laughs> that are just like, wait, I don't have moves that hit the ledge for some reason. Roy is another yeah. one. Yeah, everybody's Roy has, to get up. Roy has such good ledge trapping that you're just never gonna get off the ledge anyway, though. Nice tracking on Visceral for Mouse Rat's recovery right there. Gonna bring it back to even. Ooh. Yo, Visceral did the right thing. He just walked off the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pretty much just accept that situation. He's like, okay, I'm going to take a few jabs, and I'm going to reset this. I ready attack. Yeah, we oh, got the those. tech. Yeah, I thought I thought, uh, saw the red spark for a second. That would have been, that, that been so good for Maltrat. He has no double jump there, I think. Oh, he does. That's fine. Yeah. Good job not jumping early, but still getting caught and getting caught on the jump anyway, so we're back off stage. I'm telling you, optimal. What? what? <laughs> what just happened? I also hate the fact that like Mousetrap just back aired during invincibility and it lasted long enough still to still get the hit and punish. <laughs> no, 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 no. What happened there? The thunder, the forward smash like, went through him and then reactivated and hit him anyway. Yeah, it for sure got extended somehow on the clank from the side B. I know, but does that mean like that, forward smash has like a rehit rate or something? I have no idea. Like that's that's the first time I've ever seen that interaction happen, so that threw me all off. Uh, there we go. Good job revolleying once again. Serves up. Though that's still a red flag because he touched the ball with his hand. <laughs> nice job of Mouse Rat not falling for that. Like oh, quite a few people have uh consistently been air dodging back down and in after that up tilt. I don't understand this ledge trap from Pikachu. Just holding jab, I'm just like, what's the point? You don't get anything off this. I suppose there's some thinly veiled. I think it's one of those for... tilting things. It's like, like people, are, you're trying to get off, and then you just keep getting hit by that. Like it's, it's, like that's like bro. Factor gets to people. It's like bro, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, could you not get off? Uh, I want to see visceral raw forward smash. Just, just do it. Just do it. Honestly, I worked. think I almost anticipated it there, like that empty jump, like fade away uh, into fourth smash. Oh my god, I could have been it. Those are holding down, looking for some kind of mistake. This all needs to be careful. Dash attack can be pretty scary. Hey, is he dead? No. This yeah, is deep breathing. Oh no! I hate oh, that so much. Ah, uh, buffers suck. <laughs> oh, it's a solid play, solid play from Mouse Rat, not like holding up. Uh, especially after what happened. Why? Like in game one too, uh, after what happened, where the game got really close after Mouse Rat decided to like keep going in, 
uh, still confident in going in right there. Unfortunately, a buffer, uh, a buffer to anticipate attack or something there get a cost visceral. So the best thing to do in that situation is because Pikachu is comprised completely of multi-hitting moves, mm -hmm. uh, the best thing to do is to just let yourself fall. Like, don't press any buttons. Let yourself fall if you trade and react to it. And if you get hit, then you can react to that too. Yeah, because you have to you react know, to the end of the multi-hit on back air anyways. Yeah, I know Nair is scary, but it's like, come on. That, that right I, there. I don't understand what happened there. It's what we call privilege. That that was that was stupid. Can we but, please see that again? Yes, thank you. Let me see this again. So he had to have... Okay, he headered forward smash to deactivate it, and then the ball extended its duration, and I guess that means forward smash has a re-hit rate, despite the fact it's supposed to only hit once. That's wild. I Wait, let me see I the damage. I don't think it gets deactivated. I think it just over... It just ultra got extended. It just took a long time for the hitbox to finally get there. Like, the visualization doesn't Are change. You sure? Are you sure? Look at where Weep it is. No, I know, like, but he's, like... She's in. She's in there. No, but Pikachu's F smash, like, literally goes outward. It's like... It, it was literally... It's like... It's, it's old Pac-Man's grab or something, where it's like... It's, it's in Pikachu's body, then in the middle, and then the end. Okay, I... Okay, I get that, but it didn't look like you just passed through it. No, I'm not saying you... What do you mean, passed through it? I'm saying that it, like, super extended, like it just waited and stalled on it. Maybe, but that means yeah. he, like, went over the hitbox somehow. Hmm. I don't know. This game's weird. I'm just going to check ultimate and see if it says anything about re-hit rate. I don't think it's re-hit rate. I don't think it's re-hit I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you, Devin. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to know because, like I said, that's the first time I've ever seen that interaction. Like, I, I've seen her, I've seen her boxes get extended, but that was like just straight up inactive and then went back. Actually, does this thing even report rehit rates? Oh, okay. So I was about to say yeah, that could yeah, possibly be a mistake by Visceral for a second there, but uh, Mouser ended up going a little bit too deep, costing him a stock. Um, and all right, so the counter pick to uh, Yoshi's is just a way to get Mouse Rat to beat himself. So they're currently down three uh, three stocks to one. Yeah, Mouse Rat doing a really good job of teaming up uh, with Visceral to take out Mouse Rat. Uh, oh. Sometimes you see these sorts of plays. Uh, Mouse Rat playing like third imposter in Smash. Yeah, with him, <laughs> against himself. Trust no one. He's the one who votes for himself in Among Us. <laughs> I don't what know, yellow here? looking kind of sus. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> a mouse rat looking kind of sus. Yeah. Decided to vote himself off. <laughs> SD'd twice at the start. Uh, so, bit, unfortunately for mouse rat, he's got to play uh, three stocks down. Or two stocks down, excuse me. Just hold that ledge. Okay. I guess do that too. Just get up, dash attack, put the pressure out. I, saw, I mean, it's not terrible. 72% after losing those stocks, like, still very doable. Pretty much have to play perfectly from this point forward, though. Oh, here comes Wee Thick. I like the passive play from Visceral right here, too. There are too many people who have, uh, like, a, a lead up like this who just continue to go in for no reason and cost them a stock. Good job avoiding that down here. Indeed. I was trying to just keep this. Like, like, even it may be, like, 131. Like, anything will kill at this point, but I was still looking really good in this game. Oh, 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 good, good weight. Very good weight. Don't, that that would be so many people get up attacking or like doing something quickly to avoid that situation because like, oh crap, I'm, I got jab locked. I'm trying to get out. Oh my god, new down tilt. Still didn't kill. <laughs> I'll flee fit more, please. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. 
No. Yeah. <laughs> this character is so. All right, here we go. This character is way too slept on. Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> well, I'm glad because Sakurai felt the need to buffer. Yeah, I don't know how some people have been able to convince others like some characters are not good, like like we fit for one or people Young just don't Link know about as another. Huh? Young Link as another. I I have no idea how Young Link keeps getting buffed. Like it's disgusting. Like it, 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 it the, the liars out here. It somehow people like people convinced uh, others that Fox sucks. Like no, no. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Falco? Oh yeah, Fa Jesus. Christ, there are Falco a lot of characters. There are a lot of characters where you just gotta like question their sanity for buffing mm -hmm. these characters. It's yeah. like oh you buffed, who'd you buff here? You buffed Wii Fit Trainer. You buffed Falco. You buffed mm -hmm. Young Link. You buffed Lucario. You buffed Captain Falcon. Yeah, like, like I, like I made like, Ike, uh, but like I'm still confused why they let me get a kill option at 50 out of shield. I can still a net. <laughs> I can still a net nerf, honestly. Oh yeah, no, I don't like the change to the nair like at all. Yeah, that was a, a big loss, but oh, I like the change. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ike was nerfed properly. They took away his nair and gave him new tools. For the sure. record, Falco needed that uh that up smash buff. Although yeah, literally Falco. everything else they did with him. Okay, so yeah, Falco too. needed the side B and the down air and all that other stuff too. He did he not did need not any of the rest need... of that stuff. I he never did not said need he did. That fucking instantaneous side Only B. Only up smash. Yo, the fact that it like instant side B into uh into back air is actually crazy. Anyway, game four. Let's see if uh Visceral can repeat this performance. I will give uh, I'll give UBL uh, the Lucario thing. No, Lucario is not fine. Lucario is like it needs help. It's particularly on up B. You fix up B, and that character is more functional. Wait, Lucario's up B? Yeah. It's already goes for a million miles and it has no end lag. It Don't mess it up. It has a terrible it. collision off of up, like, off a of stage. You just died. Yeah, and you. Okay. you Whatever. I'm, I'm not getting into this argument. What's the trade-off here, though? Character, <laughs> character needs help. As you wish. Just reduce rage uh, and R at high percent. Wow. Nice coverage from Visceral. Finally getting the t <laughs> uh, down air uh, for Malshack going off stage. Looks like a two frame to me. I don't know how that happened, though. Yeah, for sure. It was like right at ledge. That was the first time Malshack's really been punished for uh, going off stage like that, too. He just hold it, and he gets a header for yeah, his troubles. Yeah, just hang out. Look at that. Thirty-two big ones because he just waited. He's just still just chilling at the ledge here. Like Malshrat has not been able to get really anything out of this, other than like a few jab hits. It's like even for down throw and up air, you can literally just di all the way off the stage, and Pikachu cannot reach that combo there. Mm -hmm. Oh, just missing that dash attack, that would have closed it out. Very I don't like that Pikachu has dash attack kill. Yeah, when you have pretty much everything else going for you too, uh, the dash attack, like, high percent kind of ridiculous. There you go. Oh, they're not going to do it just yet, though. Surprisingly. Now she's a fast faller. Yeah, this ledge patience has really just kind of set the tone for this uh, game for here. Visceral is understanding what is truly needed. Also, trying to find an answer. What's the call here? See, look at that. Re grab the ledge. That's it. Yeah, no kill has happened here. 207%. Like, up there, obviously, at this point, will kill, but you got to find the grab first. All right, there we go. Uh, Back. Finally, get a take at 207%. Uh, he might have lived that, but it looked like he was going to go to the right, so I think he was holding left and killed himself. Even at 207? Yeah, Pikachu's back air isn't all that strong. That's true. I'm just assuming at 207 it might finally do it. He didn't even use it that much in that stock, too. It's kind of fresh. Yes, Visceral is understanding the teachings of Juan Numeros, Ledge's friend. Yeah, it's definitely working much right now. It, like Because of that, I was able to roll on for, like, for the first time for free. 
ledge is friend. Yes. Good defense. Out. Yeah, don't go in on that. Oh, that, oh my Save goodness. Him. Great tech from Bistro because Maltrat had that covered. Like, Maltrat was pushing hard. That's what saved him, by the way. Oh, going for that? Yep. He got his jump eight. He could have hooped into the next uh, Thunder Jolt, actually. Okay. Good kill. Salute the sun. Oh, I, look at all that damage. Good shield pressure right here too. Immediately recognizing that Mouse Rat wanted to go right uh, go in. Well, if you can continue taking advantage of the fact that Pikachu can't kill. Patience from Mouserat right there, like not moving in. Visceral was hunting. Patience is what Mouserat's gonna need if he wants to win this too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really needs to slow down. You got two minutes, 40 seconds still left to go. He has to like slowly rack up the damage, get those Thunder Jolts. All right, we got an edge guard situation. Let's see what happens. Good evasion. Wait. So you saw how, you saw Mouserat just did like a Thunder off there, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you have a decent recovery, you can just kind of think what's up. Oh. No. Never. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, you know how Pikachu does that, like, thunder thing and just kind of floats there when he uh, misses? Mm -hmm. If you have a decent recovery, you can just let go and spike him, honestly. Just drop also, back what down happened down here? Down yeah. Good job holding, Lodge. Yeah, hasn't really been caught by that all set. Great job by Visceral so far. Well, he got caught by it in previous games, but now he's not. You gotta be careful with the ledge. That lead. Like, near, near no. to down smash is coming soon. You gotta be careful with your get up options here. Tech? Good tech. Uh oh. Are you? Scary spot for both of them gets. The oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Freaking Pikachu pancake. I am so surprised. Uh, that Mouser did didn't like walk away with it after the way the end of that game was going. Mouser was pushing, putting so much pressure on. Like that was so wild. Like even right there, like the fact that Visceral didn't just like fall fast into the ground, uh, able to get by, reading the jump. Good call from Visceral. That was that was nuts. Going into game five. Oh yeah, this is Sonic Adventure too. I was actually just listening to this music. Yeah, huh. I was listening to uh, Pumpkin Hill. I have no idea what this was because I've never played the Sonic Adventure games. SA2 has some real bangers. It really does. I, I think it, you just mean Sonic music has real bangers. Yeah, SA2 is actually Chow Simulator. Seven Don't anybody else tell you guys, but uh, I love that game. That one, John, That's a good song, Devin. No, and besides, there. Please stop. I, don't hear your I said bullshit. it. Excuse, Excuse me, me, I said numbers. it in According general. According to Sonic fans, Sonic Adventure is the only good Sonic game. Okay, right. <laughs> there's, the there's, two, oh, man. there's two factions Sonic, of Sonic. Sonic yeah. Adventure, another GameCube game. Huh? Also, Devin, you, was it at you uh, that had the the stereo, or it was with? It was I can't remember who it was, but we were at Shine and we just started pla uh, blasting um, Escape from the City. Uh, <laughs> that was probably <laughs> Hangman. That sounds like the kind of bullshit he. Would I I I, th I definitely influenced that, but I wasn't the one with the speaker. Okay, yeah, yeah. we were just blast. It was just the whole crowd started singing Escape yeah. from the City. We uh, just Jack over Leo was great. We just destroyed that, mean, that entire like that entire set and just the camera at Shine. They just oh yeah, there was no the, there was no recovery. The, the hands across the, the camera. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how how we donate some bits if you want to see what we're talking about. <laughs> but, that yeah. was a we had that clip saved. That was a great time. Oh, you'll see what I mean if if we get some bits. <laughs> Oh, power shield forward tilt, avoiding the landing hit of down air. I like it. All right, the ball is definitely in Visceral's court right now. Mm -hmm. If he just, like, he could be aggressive because, you know, this is, mm, he, oh my God. Yeah, that was definitely a save right there too. Good tech again. Oh my yeah, he, god, that just really missed. Not that time, though. Not gonna save this. He almost got saved the same way. 
Yeah, he's going a little too deep to avoid the edge guards. I do respect how far out Mouse Rat is going to scare him. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah, like the distance has gone further and further each time, but like catching great damage coming right here. This is easily one of the most frustrating to do, uh, things to deal with but against Pikachu, somehow, but... But somehow I can't help but feel that Visceral still had his double jump when he died like that. Off stage? Yeah, I couldn't really tell. It was like it was so deep into the screen. Missed the tech. First missed tech, and that's going to cost. Uh-oh. It's not looking good for our hero. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, this character! I love it. I love it. Don't waste a single second. Go right out there. Mouse has been playing good the entire game, and then you just immediately answer with your own down air. And 33 damage stun, of course. Yeah, That's good it. fade away. Good fade away. Like, not getting caught by that. Mouse was 100% looking for the jump in. I hate this game so much. Dodge, though. <laughs> I hate this game so much. <laughs> All three yeah. of the games he lost. Was oh, what a not disappointing like end. Like yeah, that one That one hurts. Because like both of them were playing so well uh, in oh, that last game right set. there. Ruined by, by such a folly. Like we were popping off. Oh. Yeah, everything How was going smooth. Was. The pressure was on. The damage was there. Both players are playing excellent. And then you get a buffer. And... Thanks, Sakurai. Thanks a lot, Sakurai. So that's unfortunate for Visceral, but a great uh, a great set for Mouse Rat. Going to move on into Winner's Side of Grand Finals. Uh, and going to take a quick peek. Who's left? So I see Tony P. Yamas. Oh, Tony P. is my boy. Um, Tony Pajamas. Love Tony. Uh, you, uh, one three zero against Tom. Amaryllis one against the Mash. Uh, it was so both the Roy's went down, uh, and that is going to be our losers semis matchup coming next. I think. So I, I do want to mention one like matchup specific tech in this matchup specifically. Also works for Pichu as well. Uh, you know how Pikachu likes to do short hop back air out of shield, right? Uh, th th no, they don't do that at all. What do you mean? Hey, right. Right. see that? Uh, <laughs> that That's what I'm talking about, Ajax. That's pretty hype. <laughs> Got him. Oh, oh my god. 